All right, so basically, yeah, let me just, all right, so basically, when it comes to uh, rape culture, first of all, there's no such thing as rape culture. I understand you're using the terminology and all that stuff there with that, you know, rolls off the back of your tongue for you then, and it feels right to you to call it rape culture, is what it is. But when it comes down to culture, there's usually a thing of, uh, let's look at the word, uh, look at hip hop culture, for example. You know, there's usually elements yeah now you could say yeah but there's elements of this that and a third but when it comes to hip-hop culture what do you have you got the five elements right so you've got the mc in you got the dj in you got the break dancing or the b-boy and the b-girl and then you got uh what the the knowledge and then what else is there how am i forgetting this i should know this by now you got the, the MC in, DJ in, B boy, break boy, and um, knowledge. There's something else. This is gonna bug me, so I'm gonna research it again. <laughs> Crazy, huh? Um, but I think you get the gist of what I'm trying to, to um, what I'm trying to say because what the, what would you say are the elements of rape culture? I'll leave your answer in the comment section below because I'm open to learning new things as well. It's not just about me teaching you stuff. It's about having an open dialogue and learning and growing together. However, um, uh, yeah, however, when it comes down to rape culture, as you like to call it, it has nothing, like I said, it's not to do with a culture. It's not a culture. I said graffiti. I knew I was missing, I knew I was missing a sign. Um, not that, that ain't um, rape culture, by the way. I was talking about graffiti, graffiti art, the fifth element of um, uh, of hip hop culture. So, yeah, so what would you say is the, the elements of rape culture? Maybe there is a, a, a culture. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there isn't. But I'm going to say there isn't. I'm just going to say it comes down to one thing and one thing only. The miseducation when it comes to sex, dating, and relationships. Here's why. Now, when you know better, you do better. All right. So, and it's not just men that rape women, or you know, it's also women that rape w women, and also women rape men. And you know, I don't want to talk about that because that just it's mad, disgusting, and. I'd, well, anyway, so I'm I'm thinking to myself, okay, well, what knowledge or what what information did they have growing up? This ain't being sympathetic with them. This is just trying to understand the root cause so we can prevent this in the future. Because why would you want to keep them keep? You see, what I mean, it's one thing to ridicule when lynch someone on social media, for example. But it's another thing to actually solve the problem. Prevent it from happening again. Yeah? Wouldn't you prefer the prevention and the solutions rather than to continue to lynch someone on social media? Or try and cancel that person as if you've got the, the authority of power? Think about it. Leave your answer in the comment section below. Wouldn't you rather uh, want a solution? But anyway, so let's get into the solution then. Click the link in the description box below where it says become a member of the Akibulan Trust. When you do that, you get access to online courses such as um, roles and relationships and even sex education and also parenting. Now, if you combine these knowledge together, once, let's say you're a parent. If your kid asks you about sex, don't lie to them. Because you know what's going to happen? They're going to end up going to somebody else. Yeah, it's going to happen. And you don't know what the fuck they're going to teach them. You don't even know if they're going to even molest them. I don't even want to think about it. It's mad. Fuck. But do you see what I mean? Like, you have to understand something, right? Kids, they always look up to their mum or their dad and their close relatives.
They always do. They always do. For example, me, I wanted to be like my, my dad at one point, and then I still kind of do, but I also wanted to be um, like one of my uncles as well. Do you see what I mean? So, so my point is, at the end of the day, you have to look at it from a perspective where they're going to seek advice from someone that they they see as influential and you may not be it anymore if you lie to them and kid, trust me kids will know if you're lying to them they may believe you at one point or whatever the case is for that moment but if they have a feeling that you're lying or you're sugarcoating shit they're going to go to someone else who's not going to sugarcoat shit they're going to go to that like, it's going to happen so if you don't want that to happen because this is what happens that like, this is what fucking happens and that's why there's these problems as well because it's like you're not teaching your kid and you're relying on the education system look respect to all the teachers out there that are real about the thing innit when I say real about the thing like the teachers that are dead that like, genuinely dare to want to teach kids like respect to them but but they still got to follow a national curriculum and if the real sex education on the national curriculum the real education on roles and relationships, all that stuff that ain't on the national curriculum, what do you expect? Like, for every problem, yeah, there is um, a root cause to why that problem exists. In this case particular, when it comes to so-called rape culture, that is it. So click the link in the description box below where it says become a member of the attribute on trust so you can get access to those courses to do with sex education, parenting, and uh, roles and relationships, all right? Get, the, get your knowledge up and be part of the pro uh, no, don't be part of the problem, be part of the solution, yeah? That's all is required of you, is to be part of the solution, all right? So if you've got any questions, any topics you'd like for us to discuss in our videos, leave that in the comment section below. And remember, hit the subscribe button, Hit the bell notification because you never know the video you suggest might just be next.